Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about another unusual mysterious discovery of a star that seems to be blinking just like some of the other stars we've discussed in the past. And when I say blinking, I don't mean twinkling like a typical star. I mean the star literally disappeared for a little bit just to reappear afterwards. Something that you can kind of see in this reconstructed image from one of the scientists behind this paper. But what exactly is happening here? And are we once again going to be using some sort of an alien megastructure as a potential explanation and a potential resolution to this problem? Well, not at all. It is a very intriguing discovery, but this time nobody actually mentioned aliens, which I was really surprised about. But the study itself, the explanation, and of course the discovery are still extremely intriguing. Now, first of all, this is known as the VVV WIT08. WIT stands for, what is that? Because that's basically what the scientists said when they saw this. Whereas the triple V stands for Vista Variables in the Via Lactea. It's a star survey of various variable stars that usually change their brightness, that was staring at the same spot for about six years and is still being analyzed even today. And during that survey, several objects were already discovered that sort of did not make sense. The previous such object I discussed on the channel approximately two years ago, you can find the video somewhere right there at some point. And this was obviously the object known as 07. Now we have another one called 08, and this one is even more intriguing. And I would go as far as to say that it's even more intriguing than the Tabby star that we discussed on the channel many times before. Mostly because of the way that the star blinked, or the way that it actually disappeared. Now the blinking of stars is obviously something that's natural to many stars. And some stars even dim quite a lot to the point where they almost completely disappear. Now we know that Betelgeuse, for example, dimmed by a huge amount um, approximately a year ago from when I'm making this video. And this has recently been explained using natural phenomena. But when it was originally discovered, it was extremely unusual because it's never been seen before. I've also discussed this really unusual study that discovered up to about 100 different stars that completely vanished from our star catalogs. And though there is no agreed upon explanation just yet, it's sort of assumed that those stars very likely vanished either because they might have actually been experiencing some sort of a prolonged period of activity and thus were brighter than usual, thus dimming with time, or they possibly went supernova and nobody really noticed. Although naturally there is no really good explanation just yet. But what this study discovered sort of classifies as a completely different phenomenon. There are actually very similar stars that have been discovered in the past, massive stars, that we've discovered to be dimming by anywhere from 20% to even 50% over a certain period of time. One such star system is right here, this is known as the Epsilon Auriga, and this is a multiple star system where once in a while we detect something like this, a sudden dip of brightness that can actually last for up to about two years. And the modern explanation to this does not involve any aliens or any megastructures. But it does involve a partner that's covered in the dust right here that's eventually going to produce a lot of planets, which occasionally can come in front of the star and block its light by approximately 700 days or so as it transits in front of the larger object. And so that's something that the scientists know exists out there for sure. So these large objects with a lot of dust around them can hypothetically block the star's light. But it looks like we found an even stranger object. This one is about 25,000 light years away from us, and hypothetically at least, it could actually belong to a completely new class of objects. Mostly because the explanation is still very preliminary and might still be revised later on. And so first of all, the star that we're looking at here is gigantic. It's most likely about 100 masses of the sun. It's large enough to be seen from a really far away distance. But when the scientists were looking at it, it blinked disappearing almost completely for a few hundred days. And this seems to have happened only once throughout the 17 years of observations of the star. And so far, no other star has ever experienced such a dip in brightness. It was practically covered almost entirely by whatever passed in front of it. Now, naturally, it could have been some sort of a giant object, such as maybe a giant dust cloud, but it had to be a very thick dust cloud. It could also have been some sort of a giant planet passing in front of us, and possibly much closer to us than the star itself, but the chance of a rogue planet passing there is extremely low. It's almost completely improbable unless, of course, the planet was linked to the star, and in that case, that planet had to be really far away from the star. And because the star dimmed for several hundred days, it's almost impossible for this to be a planetary passage. These are usually much, much faster in nature. And so far, the best explanation essentially looks something like this. Once again, some kind of a mysterious disk-like object. 
possibly a young star with a very thick disk around it, possibly even a planet with a really large disk, but for all we know, at this point, it's actually anyone's guess. Because of the distances involved here, it's almost impossible for us to really tell what this was. But whatever it was, it was extremely large, also extremely thick, and because the star disappeared for so long, this object must have been really large in size and stayed there for a pretty long time. The only thing that the scientists kind of think they know about this object is that it was very likely elongated, mostly because of the way that the brightness of the star dipped uh, over time. And because this brightness dip was also observed by another telescope, this one right here known as Optical Gravitational Lensing Experiment in Chile, it's pretty certain that this was not a fluke or some sort of an observational problem. Whatever this was, it made the star dim by about 97% for almost 200 days. Now that's something that's very difficult to explain, even if we start invoking aliens or some sort of a thick cloud of unusual matter. But since these scientists now believe that whatever it is, it's probably orbiting the star and it probably has an orbit of several decades long, it means that we're not going to be able to see this again or possibly have any better explanation for a very, very long time. However, luckily enough, a couple of other potential candidates have also been discovered in this data, so there's a chance we might be able to explain all of this by looking at some other similar objects in the near future. For all we know, this could be a completely new phenomenon or some sort of a new object that has never really been thought of before. Either way, this is a super exciting discovery and it's probably going to lead to some really intriguing answers. And so because of this, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to some of the future analysis and some of the future studies about this unusual object. For now though, that's unfortunately all we know. Another really intriguing and very unusual dimming star, similar to the Epsilon Auriga I mentioned previously. But this one is even more mysterious and even more difficult to explain. Either way, we'll come back and talk about this more. Meanwhile, check out some of the other previous videos, including the previously discovered Triple V WIT07 object, and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about these demon objects in the future. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.